Hello and welcome back to NFL Experts. Today I am joined here by Brian and Nick. Of course, as always, I'm your host, Jacob Moser. And remember, folks, if you're interested in joining the conversation, you can call us at 1-800-NFL-INSIDE. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the NFL Draft. So, of course, we had the seven rounds, uh, and there have been a bunch of picks there. But I want your guys' opinion. Who do you think was the seal of the draft and why? Nick, we'll start with you. Me personally, I feel like right now it's uh, a bit too early since we haven't seen any of these guys play to say who's the steal of the draft. Especially considering that after like the third or fourth round, we don't really know most of those guys anymore. They're mostly they were mostly guys who played at smaller schools, didn't really get a lot of TV time. But like from what they did in college, I would say like I'm gonna go with the, who I thought was the best player in the draft because again I can't really determine who the steal was yet considering I think it's too early for that. I think best player in the draft is easily the number two pick for the New York Giants, Saquon Barkley. I watched him play all the time when he was at Penn State, and he was just he was playing teams like Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, some of the best teams in the country, top ten teams right there, and he was just running them over, especially against Michigan, where he just played amazingly. They won that game. Like I think like 49 to 10, they dominated. So I just know that Saquon Barkley will be a great player, but for steals, I'm not quite sure yet since we haven't seen any of these guys play. All right, excellent answer. Brian, we move over to you. Who do you think? I'm going to say that the biggest steal of the draft had to be DJ Moore going to the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton has not had it. a consistent receiver. He had Kelvin Benjamin, who was good every other year, but they hope to find some consistency in DJ Moore. He seems to be a very versatile receiver who can give them some consistency. All right, nice answer. Personally, me, I'm going to have to go with Josh Allen out of Wyoming, quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Now, of course, if we take a look, he doesn't have the greatest completion percentage, but one interesting stat that came up before the draft, a quarterback that went a couple of years ago in the early 2000s had a 52.4 completion percentage. That, of course, was the gunslinger Brett Favre, what came out to be one of the all-time greats. Uh, so, of course, I think that potential of Josh Allen, his big arm, I think there is definitely a chance that he be he becomes the top steal of the draft, especially going number seven. Yeah, I think Josh Allen is probably the best quarterback in the draft. Baker Mayfield, I think that was a big gamble. And a few of the other quarterbacks are pretty good, but I think Josh Allen's probably the best in the draft. All right, Brian, any other remarks from you? Uh, yeah, I think Josh Allen. I don't think Josh Allen is the best quarterback of this draft. I think Josh Rosen out of Arizona was a big pick for them. Uh, that a lot of people thought that they were going to trade up for a quarterback, just which one was the big question. And I think they got their man at Josh Allen. All right, awesome. Now remember, you can contact us at 1-800-NFL-INSIDE. Now speaking of callers, right now we actually have Anthony from Valley Forge. Anthony, what's your question? So there was a lot of quarterbacks taken in the first round. If you had to pick one you think, one or two you think that are going to be the biggest bust, who would you go with? All right, that's an excellent question. Well, Brian, this time we'll start with you. Who do you think? I would have to say Baker Mayfield, just because of his struggles on and off the field and just his big, his big ego, which sometimes can get the best of him. It seems that some, he can really help his team in the locker room and get his team pumped up, but there's sometimes when he can get over the top and sometimes hurt his team. All right, definitely. That's one that a lot of people are mixed on. Of course, Nick, now we head over to you. Who do you I'm think? going with actually two. First would be the number one overall pick, Baker Mayfield for the Cleveland Browns. And the second one is the number third overall pick for the New York Jets, Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, I think that's already kind of been explained. He's uh, a lot like, he almost has a Johnny Menzel-like feel, was really good in college, but doesn't seem like he's perfect for the NFL. And then Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold, to me, he had a rough year this year in what I believe was his junior year of college. Had a rough year. And then I personally think that if he had stayed another year at USC, he might have been able to fix his accuracy and able to fix some of his other big problems that he had there at USC during the college game. Because if you don't fix those problems during the college game, how are you going to be able to succeed in the NFL if you still have serious big holes in college at USC, which he did this past year. He, had, he was just playing not as great as a lot of people thought he would. And I was kind of surprised when I heard he was going number three. All right, well, you did raise some excellent points there. For me personally, I feel like Lamar Jackson out of Louisville, the Heisman winner from two years ago. I don't know, I just think like Baltimore doesn't really have the pieces to surround him to make him one of those all-time great quarterbacks or even a good quarterback for that fact. 
Well, guys, unfortunately, that's going to, you know, be the end for us there. But next week, we will be talking about the NFL's biggest and best teams. Signing off, I'm Jacob Moser. And again, I'm joined here by Brian and Nick. Thank you.